when I decided to create a ditty to help my children learn the classification system, I decided not to waste their time. So typically when we're trying to teach a child, we say, well, kingdom, that begins with a K. So we're going to set that aside. Phylum begins with a P. We're going to set that aside. Class with a C and so on. Order, family, genus, species. We say now we're going to give you a clever device to remember those letters. And so what we do is we come up with something like this. King Philip came over for grape soda. Grape soda, mind you. No. So now your child gets to test day on Friday, and first they have to remember that King Philip came over for grape soda. Then they write that down. Now they separate out all of the letters. We've got the K, P, C, O, F, G, and S. They go, okay, K, King, uh, that came with kingdom. That one's going to be pretty easy. And then they go, Philip, that's a P. What was the one that began with a P? Oh, now maybe it's phylum. So you get the idea. First they start with this clever thing. They take out the letters. Now they have to remember what goes with it for the actual classification system. What a waste of time. That's why it simply has kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species in the beginning of it. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Every living creature from the lovely to the creepy has a kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. Once I discovered the power of ditties, and I was a good eight years into homeschooling before I figured it out, but once I discovered it, it changed everything. I have become a bona fide ditty writing crazy woman because it makes learning so easy for our kids. Check it out and see if these ditties don't work for you.